Although the Prince of Wales has his share of squabbles with other royals, including the Sussexes, Queen Camilla, and many more, his conflicts with his father, the king, are unparalleled. Eventually, the future king will stand firm and accept the king's decision. Rumors about the king taking charge of the royal family and making decisions have long since died down. His actions, such as quickly reducing the financial strain Camilla placed on him when she married the king, have proven that he is indeed the decision-maker, even going against royal protocol. Reportedly, he has no problem putting his father in his place, particularly when the latter makes the error of doubting his son's tumultuous past and the family decisions that emanate from it. As far as the world knows, the Prince and Princess of Wales's relationship is characterized by his letting his guard down and acting disrespectfully and rudely when he feels threatened for the sake of his family. The fact that he wanted to pilot the helicopter while Catherine and his kids were on board was the root of his argument with his dad. The Prince of Wales refuses to recreate the dysfunctional family environment that existed during his childhood due to the king's affair with Camilla, his divorce from Princess Diana, and her unexpected death. This is despite the fact that royal protocol forbids royal heirs from traveling together in the event of a tragedy. In an interview with Fox, Use Digital, royal expert Hilary Fordwich said that the Wales do not want to deprive their children of the quality time they can spend with him, unlike other children who spend quality time with their families. This is because the prince knows from personal experience the detrimental impact of putting work first from his own childhood. There has been tension between them as a father and son for some time. After enduring a turbulent youth, the Prince of Wales longs for a life of stability. The stability of her family was a major selling point for Catherine to the Prince of Wales. Her closest associates have long spoken of her, and the Prince of Wales's desire for their children to grow up in the real world, not a gilded bubble. They wish for them to grow up with the same opportunities that other children have. The king attempted to discourage the Prince of Wales from following his son's lead, but he failed to grasp the motivation behind his son's choice to disobey a law that had been in place for decades. The Prince of Wales was adamant about being with his children regardless of the consequences. The Prince of Wales's stubbornness sparked a heated argument with his father, the king, who was trying to gain ground by subtly offering his son a formal document acknowledging the risks involved in taking full responsibility for his actions. This, despite the fact that the Prince of Wales is a seasoned pilot, Despite the fact that the Prince of Wales knew better, the king had to concede, be overridden by the future king, and realize that although he let a lot separate him from his sons, his successor will not allow history to repeat itself, no matter how angry he was or how much he wanted to insist on what the royal protocol specified. Here we have our video. What do you think about this? Make sure to drop a comment before you leave. Thanks for watching and see you later.